Brilliant. It is a brave face she puts on for her children, but Jane's world came crashing down the night her husband was attacked with a bottle. Devastating. Completely. It's completely changed my life and I just feel like the life that I was expecting isn't there for me anymore. And, and I don't have anyone to talk to about that because he's gone. Phil Sheriff had been at a corporate party in London with his work when he was stabbed in the neck with a bottle. He died four days later. Now his wife has begun a campaign to ban glass bottles from pubs and clubs. When a bottle is handed to someone for their drink, you're, you're literally handing over a free weapon. On the night Phil was attacked, if there hadn't been glass bottles there, Phil would still be by my side and, and that's a fact. And I don't want any other family to go through the living hell that I've been going through over the last four and a half months. The solution Jane believes is to make these sorts of bottles out of a toughened glass material called polycarbonate. They look the same, the only difference is they're virtually unbreakable and in trials they've shown to dramatically cut the number of injuries in late night pubs and clubs. At the moment, figures show there are more than 5,500 incidents of glassings reported every year, although many more are thought to go unreported. And the financial implications are staggering. Some estimates suggest glass-related attacks cost the NHS, the police and the courts more than £100 million every year, and that's not even counting the human cost. But the drinks industry is still reluctant to change. Customers don't like drinking out of plastic, full stop. And yes, in the right scenario, plastic is the right thing to use. But I think it would be wrong for the reaction to be that we move entirely to plastic. In just two weeks since she started her online campaign, Jane has already had 21,000 likes on her page. He has touched people's hearts because he was just a normal person. We're a normal family and we've just been plunged into this darkness for no reason it didn't have to happen to it shouldn't happen to anyone it really shouldn't a man's due to stand trial for phil's murder later this year but for jane her focus now is on changing the law and stopping it happening to another family mel barham granada reports preston